how's it going? Today's video is a casting video because it hasn't stopped blowing for the last two weeks. And when I did get out the fish, there was a trawler in front of me. And then I went spinning for bass and I found illegal nets. I dealt with those. So today's is a casting video and it's how to progress from an aerialized cast to a pendulum cast. So let's go. Well, the first thing I'm going to demonstrate for you is, is the South African cast because it's the easiest way to transition between an aerialized cast and the pendulum cast. You have to gain control of the lead weight and with the South African cast, it's really relatively easy. There should be no slack in the line when you do this because otherwise the, rod, the, the lead won't lift and it won't um, reach the height necessary for you to tighten up on the line and keep it moving without it hitting the ground. But you shouldn't really worry about it hitting the ground, it's not a problem. Nobody's going to die unless you hit them in the head or something like that. But you shouldn't be practicing in a crowded place anyway. So, let's move on to the South African cast. Nice. I'm just going to show you how to start the South African cast to begin with. So you'll see me swing the, I start in the starting position, I swing the wiffle squid into position where it lifts and then the rod tip will drop and then I'll move into the cast trying to keep your hands as high as possible that's comfortable for you at the time the higher you can get your arms the higher up the rod and the less chance you have of hitting the beach and also the lower down you can get the rod tip which all of this increases compression in the rod and minimizes pressure on your back you, you want a smooth transition you don't want corners on casts it cuts down on distance and compression in the rod so you want smooth sloping arcs as smooth as you can get them so now i'm going to move right into the south african cast the full deal let's go So it's easy as that and now you see why it's the best cast to use to transition into the pendulum cast the thing that puts people off is the way the rod loads up um, the fact that you're not going to do the push pull immediately and you have to turn the top of your body so it takes a little bit of practice to get used to the feeling of that practice swing the lead weight that's really important in the beginning if you're going to move into the pendulum cast and you have the reel in a higher position with these stiff rods, I suggest you move it lower down the butt because it'll take pressure off your back and your upper shoulders and you won't uh, injure yourself. If you, if, you're not, you, if you can't get used to the feeling of the, the rod lower down the butt, take some macro feathers and a lead weight and hit the beach for a day. And just take your time. Don't focus on the macro, focus on the, the casting and just do a normal cast until you get used to the orientation of the reel noise and it's not as daunting as you think i think what puts people off a lot of the time is um they believe it's more difficult than it is or they're going to stuff it up the more anxiety you have inside you about stuffing it up the, the more slowly you're going to learn and also something i do when i just sit in a home or whatever and i'm thinking about casting I actually imagine myself going through the motions on the beach. I can, it's almost as if I can feel it in my body. And believe it or not, this really helps um, progress your casting forward. So we we'll move into the pendulum cast. Now as always with all casting, keep your hands up as high as you can. That's comfortable. As I said before, it gives you more room to play with. It will get the lead up higher, which means you can get the rod tip lower and increase the arc of the fishing rod. You don't want fast transitions when you're pendulum casting. It's the worst thing in the world. It's bad for your back, it's bad for your tackle, and it won't go very far. So in the beginning, you have your magnets on full. Even the easiest cast, like 
one with the least amount of effort in it will still cast further than any other cast you were doing before so you don't have to try and muscle it in the beginning or for the first few months in fact because you're still going to be getting distances that were unobtainable to you before so don't try too hard in the beginning just think about technique purely i mean on the best of days when i try to put my full effort into it stuff it up 99 percent of the time so you want to be about 95 there when you're really casting but in the beginning let's say 50 <laughs> 50 percent power don't worry about the lead weight hitting the ground or any of that stuff you run through the checklist you make sure it's not wrapped around the tip ring get comfortable with your drop don't mind other people's drops it's what's comfortable for you everybody is a different height and weight so the shorter the drop it seems to put more pressure on the rod and it's not really nice it doesn't feel very good so what most people go for is about half the length of the rod some people a little bit more some people a lot a lot more some people have a drop like this me personally maybe it's a tournament thing but me personally i wouldn't be able to do that not on a beach anyway so i go for about half the length of the rod and that's my drop so i'll show you what i mean about doing everything in graduations in the beginning because it's the, the, the body needs to learn the muscle memory to do this that's all it is you just need to get used to it so first of all the rod is like this so your first cast you're going to have an angle of say this much and the next when you've progressed on from that one you'll move it this way a little bit more and so more and so on until your end position is here like this and this might take a while. So we're gonna do the first bit of the pendulum cast. Anyway, hands up nice and high. Don't move your right arm, only move the left arm. Just let the rod tip down, let the lead weight up, swing it around, cast. That's all it is. So we just do that now. Checking everything. Keep your arms up. So, I put hardly, I put no effort into that whatsoever, really. Just the weight of the reel. I'm just uh, not much, hardly any effort at all because I'm trying to get it on camera and it went well over 100 meters and it has this on the end of it um, so if you had just a couple of worm baits or a piece of squid a couple of sand deals and you do that it's going to fly it's going to fly so I'm going to move into a more exaggerated type of pendulum swing so you you can see the way that goes anyway So now I'm going to move into the full pendulum, at least what I call the full pendulum. Everybody's got a different idea, a different style and everything else. These are very stiff rods, so I can use a lower swing. If you have a soft rod, you have to use a much higher pendulum swing because um, it takes a longer time for the rod to load up. And uh, because of the soft tip, by the time it's able to pull the lead weight, it will have hit the ground. So if you've got a soft rod, you have to throw that lead up a lot higher. So you need to practice your swinging according to what type of rod you have. So, let's go. So keep your hands up, nice and high. Only move the left arm. Nice and slow.
so that's it now i think i've gone through everything i've, I've wanted to talk about with this so i hope it improves your casting and uh thank you for all the kind comments and subscribers and everything else i'm billy this is billy casting and remember i'll see you on the beach bye